brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys. Brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We never be defeated. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys. Kingdom. We got the keys to the keys to the Revelation 21 and 12. There's only 12 gates in the kingdom of heaven. There's only 12 ways to get up in there. You're not going to get in as an African American. My brother's not going to be in here. He's not going to get in as a spiritual cigarette smoker. We're not going to get in as blacks, Hispanics, Islam, none of that. We must come back as the Israelites. We must come back and keep God's commandments. Who you think is Allah? Allah is not God. It's a lot behind that. Watch this. You say you got to follow the prophet Muhammad. That's one of the four, the five pillars, right? What prophecy? What prophet? Name one prophecy in the Quran. Name one prophecy in the Quran. No, you know what the prophecy is? And I'm not gonna say what I think, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. There's two ways you can, you can prophesy. There's multiple ways you can prophesy. You're saying something in the spirit of the Lord. For example, Revelation 19 and 10. Give me that. The most basic understanding of a prophet, though, is he's going to prophesy or foretell. A preacher, a seer, or a prophet is a seer, he's a foreteller. For example, Moses said, if you don't listen to God, you're going to go into slavery. Did that happen? Yes. Moses said, the blacks will come into slavery in America on slave ships. Did that happen? Yes. Moses said, by the spirit of God, the inspiration of God, that we would learn Islam and Christianity. Did that happen? We're looking at it. Yes. So, what did Muhammad, the so-called prophet, prophesy? And trust, I've read the Quran, so don't play. <laughs> okay. Oh, so now she got to add. She said, it's, so basically, wait. So before we go there, watch this. In the Quran, is there a prophecy? Be, keep it a hundred with me. Name one. Is it in the third sir? Is it in the, in the cow? Is it, which one is it? Name one. Name one. Name one. Pull it. Look it up and pull it right now. Where you come on? Pull it right now. We want to see a prophecy out of the Quran. Because everybody who believes in Islam claims Muhammad was a prophet. But people who have studied the book, we know the Quran. We read the Bible. Guess what? The Quran is garbage. Muhammad doesn't have any prophecy. And she's probably trying to pull one. She's going to pull a real miracle today if she pulls a prophecy out of the Quran. That's a dead book. And that man was not inspired of God. So pull one. If you can pull a prophecy out of the Quran and it came to pass and it's true, we're going to shut this whole thing down. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to tell him, hey, give me the Shahada. I'm going to tell him, give me the Shahada today. Okay, but keep scrolling while you're doing that. Let's read. The book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou, did it not? I am the fellow servant of thy brethren that had the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Jesus, which is found in this Bible, is the spirit of prophecy. For example, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Let's read this. That's fine. You're going to be next. Charles, you're going to be next too. What you believe in, Charles? We want to deal with you too. I believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, that's fine. I believe in Deuteronomy. I believe in Deuteronomy. I believe we passed the 400 years and this is our country. 
we have to figure out how we can take this shit. Ho, 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 ho. You said a lot, y'all. So you said we're past the 400 years. Yeah, we You're referring to the prophecy in Genesis 15, we're, we're past, where it says we're going to sojourn past, for 400 years in captivity. We're, past the 400 we're going to deal with that. Okay. Country. Okay, you passed the 400 we, years. We, okay. We have, we have okay, to Charles, we're going to deal with you. Read that. That's where we at. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, we're dealing with prophecy here. We're here standing with the Bible because the, the scriptures say contend for the faith. Contend for the gospel. What's your name, bro? You've been listening for a while. Remember. The Nobody's game was your name. I said Dahu. 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 All right, Dahu. Listen up. Because you see it, hey. We got the Muslim, we got the Christians. They can't contend for the faith. That's the problem. Oh, we're going to make sure you're ready, sir. Go ahead, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So let's get Exodus 20 and 2. What's going on here? It said, the Lord shall bring us into... Watch the way. Go to verse 28. They all trifling. Sir, take a look right there. Trifling. They lost their way. They all trifling. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. You see, it said God shall smite the so-called black man with madness. Did that come to pass? We're looking at it right there. You see that? You see that? God's book ain't going to be broken. The word of God is always going to stand supreme. We're looking at madness. People walking the street talking to themselves, that's madness. That's confusing. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. An astonishment of heart. You see, it's an astonishment or an amazing thing for our people to be so lost. That's right. But we ain't saying you a demon, but it's demons on you. We trying to make sure you right, man. Like you, right. No, you my brother. You my brother. We showing you love. We love you, bro. But we want you to get right. We want you to get right, okay? All right, bro. All right? We want you to get right. And you see the problem today? Smitten with madness, my brother. And you better pull some madness right here, too. My brother right here, man, too. Because I'm mad Charles talking about Christ smoking cigarettes. This is madness, read. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grow at new day as the blind grow in darkness. And the Bible said our people will grow at noonday as the blind grow within darkness. What does that mean? The, at noonday, the sun is the highest in the air. So we should be able to see, right? But he's saying we're going to be so blind and so mad and confused at noon that we're going to be walking around crazy like we'll be blind. That's an example right there. So, what's that prove? Moses was a prophet of God. Now, sir, you say Muhammad was a prophet. Let's see what you got. And we gave Moses the strip. It's sure. It's the night journey. It's sure. It's Jews 15. Al Isra. Go ahead, okay. Al-Isra, okay, Al so. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is Al-Isra, go ahead. And we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guidance for the children of Israel that you not take other than me as a disposer of affair. And that's from the Quran. Oh, oh so, so, in the Quran, we told you, we came to contend for the faith. Hey, sir, hold up, you just gave some powerful stuff. Don't let that distract you now. In the Quran, in the Quran, we just read that the scripture was given to who? Moses. So in the Quran, it claimed that the scripture was given to Moses for what? It was given to Moses for the children of Israel. So the scripture was given to Moses to guide the children of Israel. Y'all was geeking for masculine. You know what books Moses wrote? But found out we was the gatekeepers. You stupid! What is wrong with you? No, not at all. If you don't know, we can teach you. I just wanted to see where you at. Okay. The books of Moses is what? You, pull it, Charles. What you got? You, you name one. You name one. Go ahead. I don't got them. I don't That's fine. It's five books. Go ahead. I don't got them all. Just got name them. what you know. Uh, numbers, Deuteronomy. Exodus. He's on point. He's on point. You on point? Uh, wait, 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 wait. What book did Moses write? No. You wait, say it again. Say it again. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You named a good one. What book was that? Wait, what book was I that? I said that Bible says that Moses wrote Leviticus. Okay. So. In your Quran, yes. the scripture was given to Moses to write to God the children of Israel, correct? Yes. Leviticus is one of those books, right? Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Yes. Mm. Moses wrote Leviticus to God the children of Israel. We're in total agreement. I'm telling you. I'm not trying to fight you. I just want to bring this point out so everybody can hear. So, watch this. Wait. 
The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 1. These are the writings of Moses, go ahead. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image. So one of the guidances that Moses wrote in the scripture to God Israel was that we should make no idols or graven images. Follow him. Neither rear ye up a standing image, neither ye shall set up any image of... Hold up. Neither shall we rear up any standing image. We shouldn't stand up across and pray to it. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that thing. But watch this, what Moses wrote, right? Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. Uh-oh, Sarah. Hold, oh, Sarah. Hold up, Sarah. It said in the Quran, the scripture was given to Moses to guide the children of Israel. You agreed. I didn't even tell you. You told me. You had to understand it, that Moses wrote Leviticus. And in Leviticus, it is God's law that we cannot rear up an image of stone in our land. The carbon stone is a sin in itself. That's right. For you to take that so-called hard to walk around that and bow to that stone, that's idolatry. That's idolatry. You don't bow to the stone. You don't walk around. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You see that? He ain't in his right mind. He said, since you play a game, that's worship. That's worship. I'm going to ask you a question. This is basics. This is basics. Sarah, don't worry about that, Sarah. 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 Don't worry about that. Sarah, don't worry about that. We got you, Sarah. You learning today. So, the question worship the cross, right? Yeah. Don't worry about that. 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 Don't worry about how do they worship the cross? They um they put Jesus on it and they said he died on the cross with the nails in him and they prayed to it. But okay, so the Christians worship the cross the cross by going to it and praying to it, right? Yes. And when you guys take the hodge, you guys don't walk and pray and make it where the cobblestones are? We pray every day in our home. The Christians say they pray every day too. What's the difference? We pray five times a day. You say you pray five times a day. I know Christians who pray more than you. What's the difference? If, if a devil worshiper says he prays seven times a day, does it make him more righteous? Bring it out! The point we're trying to get here is this confusion, sis. Sarah, I'm trying to, trying to show you the thing that's built upon your mind is garbage. That's right. It's garbage. We proved out your own book. You so, okay, so that was the Quran wrong? Finish. But is the Quran wrong? No, the Quran but, but didn't the Quran just say the, the book that Moses wrote was guidance for Israel? That's right. The Quran said, and we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guidance of the children of Israel. Exactly, and one of the books that Moses has is Leviticus, right? That's right. Isn't the book of Leviticus I right? Bring it out. I don't agree with the Quran because the Quran is garbage. That's right. You're not trying to see it for yourself. You're not trying to see it for yourself. We just showed you out of your own book. This it's is contradicting God's laws. That's right. It's contradicting. That prophecy is clearly false because y'all raised up a standing image of stone in your land. Bring it out. Sarah, stop. You see it, sir. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You asked, did, you asked, did I read the Quran? Watch it. Go to the third Surah 83. Go to the third Surah. Go to the third Surah 83. You said, did I read the Quran? Go to the third Surah 83. Yeah, okay. Go to the second Surah 122. You got let me talk with you. The, the, the second Surah 122, it says that the children of Israel are above all people upon the earth. That's right. The word Quran, what does Quran mean? Bring it out! Sarah. Sarah. I asked you about your five pillars. You ain't know that. I, know my I asked you what the Quran means. You don't know. Sarah, do you even believe in that joke for real? Uh, yes, I you shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's garbage, but you don't seem like you do. In the Surah, it says that. It, you, you, well, if you was study, studying, if you was on your dean, if you was on your dean, you wouldn't be cut off God. We try to show you, cause you ain't gonna catch the promise of God. We try to show you a better way, a better way. Guess what? I used to hold on to that. You see that language right there? That's the way that you said that for the Arabian, like Jer Jeremiah said. You see that? That's from the Arabian. Do you know about the Sub-Saharan slave trade? Okay, we gonna let you know today. See this sign right here? Just like the white man had your people in slavery and sold you and killed you, guess what the, the uh, Arabs did? Guess what the Arabs did? In the sub-Saharan slave trade, they sold you, killed you, and raped you, and did the same thing. It was even worse, matter of fact, because they castrated our men and used us as slaves. You understand that? I do agree that the Arabs, I do agree that they had slaves too. You do agree that the Arab man had you as a slave? No, not me. So who did the Arab man have as a slave? No, I was, I'm joking. See, and you think it's a game, it's a laughing matter. Galatians 6 and 7. Give me Galatians real quick. Give me Galatians 6 and 7 because Sarah, 
Yo, you don't understand how serious this is right for you right now. We trying to show you the way. You holding on to the shackle. We trying to say, hey, Kuta, your name ain't your name ain't Toby. It's Kuta Kinte. They got you as a slave, sir. And you like, no, the shackle right here. The shackle in Arabic. I'm keeping it. Sir. Hey. The fly, you got the fly. You got the scriptures. So hey. This is a great conversation. Sarah, I appreciate your time for real. I know I came off once, but I'm your brother. I love you. I'm trying to show you the right way. Unlike that, that ain't the right way. We trying to show you the Bible is the right way. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.